HIMARS and M777 howitzers as well as hitting a Russian stronghold. It's been reported that Ukrainian Air Force pilots struck a stronghold, a concentration of Russian forces and their equipment in the area of Davidov Broad and Pravdine three times using pairs of helicopters. As a result of the work of our rocket artillery and other units, the enemy's losses are 12 Russets, a tank, an MSTAB howitzer, an ammunition depot, and an Orland 10 UAV, which was destroyed during an attempt to conduct reconnaissance in the area of Visokopilia. In the Kherson region, the Russians tried to attack positions of Ukrainian soldiers with the KA-52 attack helicopters, but the armed forces of Ukraine repelled them. It's an almost everyday occurrence in the Russian occupied parts of eastern and southern Ukraine. Russia's ammunition depots blow up with large fires erupting as tons of ordnance detonate for hours. Some of these incidents cause giant blasts with a radius of hundreds of meters. Now that Ukraine has acquired advanced western artillery and rocket systems, it has gradually begun a campaign to take out Russia's key military infrastructure. Over the last four weeks, nearly 20 Russian ammunition depots in Russian-occupied Donbass and Ukraine South, including some of the largest, have been hit or completely destroyed. As Russia continues with its slow but steady advance in Ukraine's eastern region of Donbass, Ukraine's military is working to undermine Russia's overwhelming artillery power and disrupt its logistics deep in occupied territories. Devastating strikes upon Russian command posts have become increasingly frequent since mid-June, when Ukraine began using the first of four M142 high-mobility artillery rocket systems, or HIMARS, provided by the United States, nearly a week before their arrival in Ukraine was publicly announced. On June 15, a massive explosion occurred near the city of Krustalny, formerly Krasny Luch, in occupied Luhansk Oblast. Explosions continued for days. According to satellite images, the blast created a destruction zone spanning some 500 meters around the epicenter. The site was one of Russia's largest ammunition depots built after Russian forces occupied the area in 2014. In the Azotny neighborhood in the northeastern part of Donetsk, where Russia established ammunition depots throughout the city, successful attacks have continued on an almost daily basis. On July 2, Ukraine's military published a video showing an enormous explosion at another large depot in the city of Popanza in Luhansk Oblast that was being used to supply Russian units near Bakhmut and to the south of the Severodonetsk and Lysychansk. Two days later, another devastating blast destroyed a large depot in the city of Snizne. Three more depots were also hit in Donetsk. <laughs> 